move on to our free cash flows now that we have incremental earnings we want to figure out free cash flows so for free cash flows you need your incremental earnings so these are going to be what we need for formatting and let me highlight it a little bit just for you guys you don't have to do that that's just my preference okay so these are going to be your incremental earnings now for free cash flows we also need add back depreciation the trick to showing formulas is to put an asterisk at the at the beginning okay so i can just drag this depreciation here all right and then we need depreciation change in net working capital so we're going to subtract change in net working capital and so what do we need to figure out the change in net working capital we need to figure out what net working capital is okay and we have and then capital expenditures so we want to also subtract capital expenditures so I have that and then I want to subtract capital expenditures or capex okay so we've got that all right, so what is my networking capital going to be? What I'm told is there will be an initial networking capital in the $100,000 and just to get the production starter. Started then for each year, the total investment in networking capital will be equal to 10% of total revenue. So 10% or 0.1 times total revenue. Once I've put this formula, which is really the main reason why I want you guys to practice using Excel, is you can just drag these formulas and you will have the calculation. For those of you who have the F uh, function keys, you can press F4 and it's going to show you the formula and the cell references. Okay, so what is going to be my change in networking capital? Change in networking capital will be networking capital year one minus networking capital year zero so in year zero it's going to be networking capital at time zero minus networking capital at time negative one or at the beginning of year zero which is zero so we have an increase in networking capital of one hundred thousand. the following year change in networking capital is going to be whatever level of networking capital we had uh, this year to what we had last year so the increase is going to be six hundred fifty thousand and I can drag these formulas but just like this the initial years formula was a little bit different the formula in the last year is going to be a little bit different too because there is going to be the termination value of whatever the networking capital is going to be uh, at, in that year so in year five your networking capital is going to change from whatever you need in year five to um, and and the difference between whatever you need in year five and whatever you need in year four but also at the very end of the project your networking capital pertinent to that project is going to go to zero so actual change in networking capital is going to be zero the value at the end minus networking capital at time four so that's going to be your change in networking capital and then capital expenditures is going to be um your cost of uh, plant on equipment uh, in, in, in this project. So now that we have that, we're ready to calculate our free cash flow. So our free cash flow is going to be your incremental earnings, add back depreciation, subtract change in networking capital. Why is it that we subtract net change in networking capital again? Is because if you are going to have some payables, um, that means that if, that means that you haven't paid some something yet, so your reserves in the company are going to be higher. Whereas if you have uh, some receipt, if your receivables, for instance, increase, that means that somebody hasn't paid you, and thus it's going to have a negative impact on your actual cash flows right because the receivables is cash that you don't have in hand 
So I'm going to subtract change in networking capital. Any increase in networking capital uh, subtracted decreases uh, will have a positive um, uh, impact on free cash flow and then subtract capital expenditures and need a larger cell. So the first year free cash flow for the first year of the project is going to be uh, an outflow of ten million one hundred thousand dollars. And then once I set up this formula, I can figure out my cash flows the following years. So my first year, my cash flow is going to be two million ten thousand dollars. Then I'm going to have four point two million dollars, almost five million dollars in year three a little bit over four million dollars in year four and three over three million dollars in year five so those are my gonna be my cash flows now that we've considered that what we have to do is figure out whether we want to based on the, this information do we want to uh, pursue this project so calculate NPV and calculate IRR NPV remember the cash flow at year zero does not go into the formula. Then you do NPV, put cost of capital, and the cash flows from year one on to the last one. So your net NPV of this investment is one million nine hundred twenty-nine thousand uh, dollars. And what about the IRR? It's 22%. Let's increase the uh, decimal 0.3. Based on both of these, I would uh, go on with the project. The value of the company is going to increase by, by almost $2 million. And the return, the uh, percent return on this investment is going to be 22%.